Tell me that. Not wicked! Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something super cool. We are going to take a laser that I got online. We are going to find a way to mount it, strap it, something to this drone, and we are going to terrorize. We are going to turn this drone into a laser beam shooting drone. It's going to be like a sniper rifle with a laser on it, but on a drone. What? You got that right. I don't really know how we're going to do it yet, but we're going to figure it out together. We're going to get it done, and we are going to have a blast. Let's go. Oh, oh. So this here is my Copus Mini. This is a sweet little DJI version drone. It flies absolutely. It's got T-Motor motors. It's got the Holy Bro Kakute stack. It takes little three inch props. I got some H cuties on there. I thought of how can I make this drone better? And then I thought I'll strap a laser to it. This is going to be freaking epic. So the first thing to do was to figure out a laser. What kind of laser can I put on here? Can I buy a laser pointer and then I'll take it apart? I'll rebuild it and then find a way to assemble it on the drone. What other methods can I use to get a laser on this quadcopter? Then I came across a laser that was perfect. And then I found out that it required some crazy amount of voltage, some crazy amount of amperage, and the wiring was just not ideal. I didn't know how and couldn't think of a way, not without an external battery source and then some type of servo or something like that to try to turn this guy on. It just, just not ideal. So that was when I came across this guy right here. That's right, you got it, a whole bag of lasers. Look at that. And there's a lot of awesomeness about this. Number one, I got 10 lasers for six bucks. So now I've got the lasers here. I tested them out, they're absolutely phenomenal. I only need one and I need to find a way to strap it. So that was when I went ahead and I used my caliper. I jumped inside a Fusion 360. I did some modeling. First I made my design and then I realized that I need to have some angle because if you look here at the quadcopter, the camera is not pointed exactly straight. If I was to point the laser exactly straight, I would have to fly exactly straight. Well, quadcopters don't fly like that. Quadcopters actually tilt and then that is what propels them forward. So I needed to install, create, and print a mount that would point in a degree that I could fly while being able to see my target with my laser being pointed. How freaking awesome. So what I did is I printed it out and I came up with this guy right here. And it's actually going to go into the standoffs and then I'll be able to sync a uh, laser inside of the hole and it's going to work phenomenally. I am super excited. I haven't tried it out yet. I haven't even installed it yet. So I don't know if my measurements are right. I don't know nothing. So at this point right here, I want to go ahead and open up the quadcopter and figure out how are we going to mount it? How are we going to set it up? How are we going to get it to work on demand? I don't want it to just be outputting five volts all the time. I want to be able to creep up on my target, creep up on my prey, flick my switch, and then boom, you are now in the scope, about to get hit. That's the plan. So let's get started. There's got to be a million and one ways to connect this thing, but when I think about them, like for example, connecting to the buzzer pad, the buzzer actually beeps, beep, beep, beep. That's going to resemble my laser. Flash, 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 that's no good. If I go to a five volt pad, it's just gonna be on all the time. Ha, my fix is gonna be this little guy right here. It's like the size of your thumbnail. It's gonna hardly take up any space on my quadcopter. It's nothing more than a PCB board, a uh, couple of pads. I think there's a few resistors and a MOSFET. You got that right. So here's our fix. 
boom, this little tiny itty bitty guy right here. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna set my MOSFET aside, I'm gonna bring in my flight controller, and what we wanna do is we're gonna take a little bit of double side sticky tape, and we're gonna probably see where this lands. This lands right here. So I can mount this probably right here. So I'm gonna take off my double side sticky tape, and I'm gonna put it right here on the side of this huge old F7 chip. Look at the size of that microprocessor. All right, let's take a look. Where'd we land? Where'd we land? Because I didn't measure. Oh, we nailed it, pilots. Nailed it. Look at that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to connect to our data port, our ground, and our power. We are not pulling a ton of voltage, so I don't need big wires. I'm going to roll with these little guys right here. We need to kick on our soldering iron and then right on top of them. So we got ground, five volts, boom, look at that. And then R4 right behind it. Grab our tweezers and let's start with the furthest one south and that's ground. Then we got our power. Boom, there you go. So there's your three wires. So the next thing we need to do is trim them and strip them. So that shouldn't be a problem. What I'll do is I'll just grab it and then I'll trim right here. All right, so with our pads tinned and all wires stripped, let's give them a quick tinning and boom, okay. Now we're gonna grab our tweezers. We'll go ahead and solder these up. All right, so the next thing we'll do is take my custom 3D printed mount and we're gonna take our mount, we're gonna take our laser and we're gonna slide it in. Hopefully it fits. I mean, I guess if not, I'll make some adjustments. Ooh, dang, that's a perfect fit. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount our laser. Oh, look at that, perfect fit. Perfect snug fit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and slide that down and boom. Let's grab a little solder and let's tin our pads. Now we need to go ahead and cut our wires. Okay. There you go. Now we've got our ground and our positive connected. All right, wired beautifully. Let's go ahead and remount our camera. I'm gonna take the camera. On the back is a little arrow telling me up. I'll take that and we'll push it on top. Boom, just like that. So now if we take a look from the front, look at that mean demon. We got the laser, we got the camera, we are rocking and rolling. And we could tilt at about the same degree that we have for the laser is the same degree we want for the camera. So if you'll see, we're going out about a 65 degree angle. I want th mm, that to also be a 65 degree angle. All right, so there you go. You have got your laser quadcopter set up, ready to roll. I don't care who you are, what you say, look how wicked that is. <laughs> if you are sitting on your couch and you see a laser on your chest, you better run because it might be me. <laughs> All right, let's jump into beta flight. We're going to set this thing up and we're off to the clouds. Woo! We are connected. There we go. We're live, as you can see. Uh, one thing I do want to mention real quick is... How I figured this out, or if something you're interested in, it is the pin IO and pin IO box. You can jump on a GitHub and it's got everything you need to know in here how to configure, how to resource it, everything, everything you need to know. All right, just wanted to show you that. All right, so now we're going to head over to the CLI. When you get to the CLI, what you need to do first is type in a resource. I am on the Serial RX4, that's this right here, to resource, okay, Serial RX4, none, saw that, ready, boom. Now that we've removed it from its resource, we are going to go ahead and set 
pin IO underscore box, okay? Then we are gonna press equals, and we need our array length. And for me, mine is gonna be four zero comma, four one comma, four two comma, four three, press enter. After that's been done, we're gonna head up for our next command, which is our auxiliary, which is gonna be aux two. Then we need 40, two, 1600, 2100 and a big fat zero. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to resource P-I-N-I-O one to A zero one because that is where we need it to be. If we're happy with that, we hit save. Boom. We'll head over to the modes tab and in here, we should have a user one, boom. All right, now if you're unsure of which auxiliary you're on, it's not a big deal. What you'll do is you'll put this to auto and then you'll flick that switch, okay? So when I'm in the off position, that is this indicator, I don't want it there. When I'm in the on position, we can be here or here. So it's a three position switch. We'll roll with this one or this one. We'll both turn it on, but when I'm here, it'll be off. Now I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna hit disconnect. We are ready to test it out for the first time. Let's plug in. All right. And I do have my radio turned on. Okay. Inside you'll see that we've got nothing, no light, because there is a red LED that'll indicate when this is working. And I have it wired to aux 4 so while I'm flying I should be able to just simply reach over flick this switch oh it came on it came on oh it's on right now what get some turn it off on off on off <laughs> all right let's look inside there it is see that red LED that lets us know that it's working pilots i hope that you guys learned a little something i hope that you guys will make your own laser drones if you do tag me on youtube tag me on facebook tag me wherever i want to see them let's see those laser drones i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one oh.